Hey guys, so I've got the brand new Gwen Stefani eyeshadow. This is exciting. It is sparkle. It's gorgeous and I can't wait to apply it. This is called the GXVE C and Sparkle Multi-Dimensional Eye Pigment. This also says it's a clean formula on the Sephora website, so I was like, okay, I've got to try this. This comes in three colors, a gold, a bronze, and a pink. So of course I picked up the pink because I'm obsessed and we have to try this out. All right, so this is it. I got the color Twinkle. Packaging is kind of like a recycled cardboard. I'm not a big fan of the fact that the sticker is on kind of G-Ways. You know, it, it's a thing. This is $31 and it's good for 24 months. So I'm just going to, oh, I like the inside. It's got her like little, oh, that's so cute. Okay, so the inside's cute. Love the packaging. Don't need that. All right, so this is it. This is a plastic component. The gold is really pretty. Me, you, yours, that's very beautiful. I can tell already this is going to be a hot mess. I am covered in glitter. Haven't even opened <laughs> the package yet and I'm covered in glitter just from taking it out of the box from the factory. That tells me something. We're gonna lay down either shadow shields here or a lot more powder. I have already gone in and done my base makeup because I usually always go in and do my base makeup first before I film for you guys eyeshadow looks, but we're gonna lay down some more powder right there. So let's do that first. So I'm just going to apply some powder with a smaller brush right here under the eyes because I don't want any fallout. And if we do get fallout, we can just brush it away with a large powder brush. Does not matter what product you use, this one happens to be the e.l.f. and this is called the Halo Glow Setting Powder. I love this and it's 10 bucks. So I'm just gonna add some extra powder right there under both eyes. Perfect. Okay, so I just have a plate right here because I don't want glitter all over my workstation. I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this onto the plate to start off the look. That's probably way too much, but I'm gonna swatch it a couple of different ways for you guys. You know what, we're gonna go hard. I'm just gonna tap my finger. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. I'm going to uh, swatch this for you guys. This is again, a dry product, it's straight up glitter. If you guys remember the MAC pigments that was all the rage back in the 2000s, this is kind of what reminds me of that. But this color right here, that's nice. But again, I've got glitter surrounding everywhere. When rubbed into my finger, like that is such a beautiful metallic pink. But the sparkles, the shift, stunning. All right, so I'm going to test this a couple of different ways. Next, I'm going to just take a brush. So this one is actually half synthetic and this is a MAC 234. I'm just going to lay that down. I wanna see how that's gonna swatch if you use a brush. Okay, you get very little sparkle when you actually pick it up with a brush, you get enough sparkle, like that looks really stunning, but hands down, if you want that more intensity, go in with your finger. Now, another way you can apply this is actually by wetting it. So I'm gonna use this makeup by Mario. This is the multiplier. This is basically formulated to go with his Master Metals palette. We're just gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna take that same brush. I'm just gonna wet my brush and pick up some of that pigment and make it kind of a wet formula, which is actually super hard to pick up with your brush. Wow, okay. Maybe I need a different brush. <laughs> We're going to use that. Okay, let me go in with a different brush. Something more flat, I'm thinking. All right, this one. And I'm just going to pick up some of that pigment. And there we go. She does say you can use this formula wet and it'll turn it into a completely different product pretty much. And yeah, it does. This makes it even more metallic. I do find it needs a bit more of a blend. You do get some kind of heavier spots, you just kind of need to blend it out. But that is, you know, 
three really amazing ways to use this product. The other way she recommends using the product is with a glitter glue. My favorite happens to be from Too Faced and this is their glitter glue. This is great for glitter eyeshadow as a primer. So we're just going to apply just a little bit of that here. You don't need a lot of this. And I'm just going to rub that in. Alright, so I'm going to pick up some of this dry product and tap that into the glitter glue. Alright, so that that's pretty. And actually super metallic, almost more metallic because I find this one here that I did with the wet Honestly, I feel like it's a little patchy compared to the glitter glue. So if you do want that extreme metallic look to the eye, go in with the glitter glue. Like that's, that's pretty. Hopefully the camera is picking that up. So let me know in the comments down below which method you guys like the best. I'm curious. Okay. <laughs> I have most of the glitter off and we're going to start this eye look. I'm going to dump a little bit more onto my clean plate. Again, this is just a plate. It's actually a really cute plate. I'm hoping that's enough to do both eyes, but we will soon find out. I'm going to just grab a little bit of my glitter glue. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on the plate. That's definitely more than enough. You need such a tiny amount to do one eye, like just a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. If you guys haven't used it, pick it up. The Sephora VIB sale is happening right now when this video launches. Definitely save some coin, pick it up. You're going to not regret it. You're going to love it. Now I'm just going to grab my eyeshadow palette today. I'm using the Scott Barnes. I'm just going to apply some shadow on my outer crease. Just a little bit. We're going to pick up some of this brown and a little bit of cinder. So Bambi and cinder tap that off. I'm just going to apply it right here just because I want some dimension underneath this glitter. And I'm just going to do the other eye really quick and then blend that out. Now I'm going to go in with a flat tipped brush. You can go in with something longer like what I was using earlier. This one is from MAC. This one is a uh, 248. But since I have glitter on this already, I am going to go in with this one. This one is the ColourPop E26 in case you guys are wondering. But it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go in with the glitter glue. And this will not ruin your brushes. It just washes off with water and soap and you're good to go. Carefully starting by putting this on the center of the lid and then just tapping it on where I want the glitter glue to apply. I'm going to move then towards the inner corner and then towards the outer corner. Then I take it and I just blend in a small circular motion there. Let's go in with our finger and apply it that way. This is picking up a little bit patchy. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to lay it down in the center. Okay, that is pretty very very pretty wow i'm gonna just be real with you guys i am gonna blend this out but like the glitter i just assume that it's going to get into my eyes and if it gets into my eyes it's going to be an eye irritant i do have sensitive eyes and i'm always rubbing at my eyes i have watery eyes i feel like this was probably not my you know the world's favorite product for me personally i think it's really pretty but it kind of reminds me of the latest Pat McGrath palette, the number 10, the Mothership. That one actually irritated my eyes quite a bit. The glitter, stunning, absolutely gorgeous. But I actually didn't release that video for you guys. I did film it, didn't release it yet. But that one just gave me such red, irritated eyes right away. And I can already feel it. I can feel it getting kind of in my eye and a little bit irritated. Not the greatest thing. Are you going to go out and pick this up? Probably for a Christmas party, yes, more than likely, because it's stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous, but is it going to irritate your eyes? If you have sensitive eyes, I would just be mindful of that. Test it out at least 24 hours before you actually go to wear it for your Christmas party. Make sure that you don't have watery, teary eyes, because you don't want that. It'll be a hot mess. Okay, so it blends out decently well. I'm trying to keep that glitter just in that area where I wanted it. 
So I do have like big chunks right here stuck in my lashes, which isn't great, but you can just take a spoolie and comb those out before you go in with your mascara. It's pretty, but mm, I don't know. Let me do the other eye and I will be right back to show you guys the finished look. Alright guys, I just finished the look. I think the look is so pretty. Is this the world's craziest, hardest to use, messiest product? Yes. So you can apply this over some lip gloss or lipstick. I do have on the Gucci lipstick right now. So I'm just going to tap into the pan here where I've got the product. So I'm going to take a little bit and... Okay, a little bit goes a long way. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, that's pretty. As you guys know, having the metallic lipstick right now is a very trendy thing going into the fall winter season. Pat McGrath just launched brand new metallic lipsticks on her website 24 hours ago and I'm waiting for mine to come in because I'm super in love with those shades. But this is pretty. Feels a little weird though. Like a little drying, like compared to the moisturizing lipstick that I had on. Instantly dried out my lips pretty. <laughs> All right. So those are the different options you can use with the product. Final thoughts. Do I love the product? No, I'm probably never going to use it again after this video. I think it's really, really pretty and I'll keep it in my kit. Maybe I'll use it on the body at some point for a high fashion photo shoot, but for an everyday kind of glam makeup look, yes, super pretty, but super hard to use because it is messy. I'm not telling you guys not to get this, but if you do pick it up, expect a lot of mess. And honestly, if you're going to wear this to a nice holiday party, a New Year's thing, you're going to look stunning, like absolutely gorgeous. But definitely do a makeup trial because you're going to have to figure out which way applies best for you and how to blend it out. Make sure that you don't have glitter under your eyes. It's a whole process. So you know, let know that, you know, it's going to take more than one try to get this looking amazing. But once you do, it is really, really stunning. And it is irritating my eyes. I'm going to be real with you guys. I can feel it, especially right there. It's catching onto my inner, cor like my inner eyeliner. I can feel it kind of pilling in my inner corners. So there's fallout. I'm not going to lie to you guys. If you do choose to use the dry method, know that you're going to have glitter all over your face all day long. But definitely, once you are done applying this, apply a really good setting spray. And I'm going to recommend one. It's actually a hack that I've been using for a while. And I would take the Patrick Star One Size Until Dawn setting spray. My all-time favorite. Love that setting spray. And also the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Spray on the Until Dawn, then the Hollywood Filter. And then that's going to leave your makeup looking amazing all throughout the night. So if this is a New Year's Eve look for you, that's going to keep it locked into place. If you guys want a really good glitter that's not going to give you the same amount of fallout, definitely I would pick up the Stila liquid glitters. They're amazing. I absolutely love them. Or the Danessa Myrix. So if you guys haven't seen the video, definitely check it out right there. That glitter is on point and no fallout. Love it. All right, guys, until next time, live, love, and lip gloss. Bye, guys.